When the beat drops, you'll be on your way. So remember this name. You can call me Shay. Your beats by Shay. The man, the myth, the legend. The boy who lived, the chosen one. I don't remember seeing you around school. Just moved here last week. Arcadia's cool factor went up this much. Lucky us. We're so glad we could welcome you to the neighborhood. Here is our new nitro cold brew on the house. Rad. Congratulations. I'm giving this place five stars on Zelp. Lucky us. Well, thanks for the calf, but I got to split. Almost forgot. Check me out on all my socials. 7015 20th Avenue. Wait, that's my street! We're going to be at the same bus stop. We get to listen to my new tracks each morning. Can't wait! Well, on that note, later, Nomies. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Catch you on the flippy flop. What a I fascinating hope he never young comes man. Back. Mr. Kirby, his music is awful. Plus, he smelled like he used an entire can of hatchet body spray. Bree, we've talked about this. Our mission at the cafe is to create a place where everyone feels welcome. Although, I'll admit that style of music is not my cup of tea. <laughs> I kind of liked it. I mean, I was listening to it in the back. Shay's got some good rhythm, and he never uses any bad words or anything in his lyrics, so. I guess I hadn't thought of that. That's very admirable of you, Taylor, giving Shay a chance like that. Thanks, Mr. K. I mean, I remember what it was like moving here a year ago, and Shay probably could use some new friends. No, 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 not happening. No, she's loud, and he's rude. He didn't even ask us what our names were. Name tags. <laughs> Bree, I think you're forgetting something. Taylor, do you remember what you said to me last year when Blake and Bree came to the cafe for the first time? Together we'll make this a place where anyone can come and feel like they belong, whether they like comic books or coffee, or they just need to meet a new friend. Oh, no, Blake and Bree are way too different than me. Exactly. My, how things have changed. Bree, Mr. K's right. I mean, at first, I didn't want to accept you either. I mean, we didn't dress the same way or like the same things, but now we're friends. Best friends. And I can't imagine what it would be like without you at the cafe. Um, Mr. K, it's my mom. I'm really sorry this is important. Take all the time you need. Taylor's mom has been calling her at the cafe a lot lately. Something's going on. This sounds like a job for... The Brie Tech. Before launching a full investigation, I think it would be wiser to gently ask Taylor if she's okay. Brie, things are going to be different this year. Some changes are hard, but there could be some good changes too. Like what? Mrs. Kirby and I would like you to be the cafe's afternoon shift manager. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes! <laughs> what is that? Well, you would manage the cafe by yourself when I'm not here, and most importantly, you would have to be friendly and helpful to all our customers. All of them? Yes, because that's what Jesus would do. Every time you show love to someone and accept them, you're telling that person Jesus loves them too. You're right, Mr. Kirby. I'll definitely miss Blake, but maybe I'll make a few new friends. Excellent. So, do we have a deal, Bree? Deal. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot my drink. Oh, what an excellent opportunity. I think we got off on the wrong foot. My name is Brie Bacaliri. Oh, hey, Britt. It's a pleasure, psych. Is that the newest edition of Captain Awesome? I remember doing 12 hour long recordings. 
Thank you, God, for another year at the cafe. This is going to be so exciting.